Hey everyone, we are back. Today we're going to be reviewing the new Fenty foundation and hydrating primer. Anyway, so Fenty, Fenty has launched their new hydrating foundation and their new hydrating primer. They have two other primers, the original and um, a mattifying primer as well. I haven't tried either. I did not like the original foundation, which I found to be too mattifying, too drying on me. It emphasized my pores, it emphasized my patches. It was just too much for my skin. Um, you can see my review, I'm gonna link it down and also put it up here. I'm just gonna apply the primer to half of my face because I wanna see if that makes any sort of difference and so I'm just gonna go half half. And then, because I'm already doing that, I'm not gonna go brush and sponge like I usually do. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do a first layer of this so you, can guide, you guys can see how it builds up with the regular sponge. And then we're gonna go onto my most pigmented spots with the other sponge. So last time I got the shade 110 and I found it to be a little bit too light for me. I was a little bit bronzed at the time. Uh, but even then, I decided to go a bit darker this time. I went for 120 this time to see if that would be a little bit better. And I think it is, although it still looks a bit pale. This is the primer side, and I'm gonna play a first layer of it. This sponge is actually really, really good though. And the finish is flawless. Anyway, even with the second layer, I find this to be a medium coverage foundation. It looks nice. It looks satiny. There are still a bit of pigmentation spots coming through, but we will tackle that with the other sponge or alternative you could alternatively you could use the Fenty concealer on top of this, but because the Fenty concealer is matte and the foundation is hydrating, I don't want to mask the textures. So you can see how it goes, but it is it does have a very satiny finish. Honestly, I'm not mad about this. I'm not mad about this coverage. I would happily have it this way. Just so we see what we can do, we're just gonna go a little bit with a microfiber sponge. So my microfiber sponge is from Sunday Ivy. I love them. I definitely recommend them if you have acne because to me, it mimics the application of a brush, which is a lot more high coverage, but gives the finish of a sponge. Yeah, that totally works. That totally goes full coverage. And honestly, this is even a, a better solution to use both sponges so that you really don't have a cake face. You just have a bit of spots that have a little bit more product while the rest of the face looks beautiful. I'm gonna come up close. Up. I'm just gonna do my concealer first. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna use the Maybelline Age Eraser. looks really really nice looks really dewy and juicy and fresh which I appreciate and also for a pasty foundation a pasty like pasty colored foundation to match my pasty color skin tone it's hard to make it look healthy and juicy and I think this is achieving it I have powdered under my eyes and my T-zone as I previously mentioned, but it didn't get overly cakey. It still is shining through the powder, which I really love. It's just a little bit more contained in those areas. Um, here I applied the highlighter. A little bit of the satiny went away because it is a powder highlighter, but this was one of the last things I applied, so I expect that it's gonna shine through anyway. and. The rest actually looks really good. It didn't, I mean, as I applied my bronzer, um, it did wash away a little tiny bit of coverage right here, but nothing that wouldn't be fixable. Um, and because it is a satiny foundation, I was expecting that. But overall, it's looking super luminous, super cute, and I'm so excited. Yeah, I am wearing the Aha uh -huh Honey ColourPop palette for the eyes, and I'm gonna post this tutorial on Instagram either on the same day or soon. 
So if you want to see that, follow me on Insta and we'll see how this um, foundation works throughout the day. Separating a little bit in some areas such as this. It's not emphasizing any texture or patches, it's just separating a little bit. And so maybe I was careful while powdering because I didn't want to over powder and completely ruin the dewiness of the foundation. But the dewiness, as you can see, shines through the powder eventually. So maybe um, I could powder a little bit more heavily and also set this because I didn't set this. And my forehead, nose, here. It's not, it's a really nice, nice texture. It's just starting to separate a little bit, uh, which, which also could be due to the really hot weather that is today. That's my dog. I definitely have to take a few more steps to lock it in, but I do love the finish and I love how it feels on my skin. It doesn't feel heavy at all. It feels pretty flexible and elastic. And even though it does separate, it's not like creasing here on my laugh lines or anything, so that's good. Third time that I'm filming this because I'm an asshole and the first time the mic wasn't on and the second time the camera wasn't on, so yay. I ended up doing a 12 hour thing instead of an eight hour thing because we went to the movies and we kind of got carried away by it. My eyes are terribly shot to heaven. I'm really tired and so please don't judge. Um, Anyway, this ended up breaking down was just a little bit more, not as much as I thought it would be, so I'm kind of surprised about that. But yeah, just a little bit more. Um, it emphasized the lines a little bit more and the texture and pores and everything. So, all in all, I don't think it would be a nice foundation for me during the summer. I think it'd be a good foundation when the winter, the winter, when the winter comes. For dry skin, maybe that would be really good. For me personally, I think I'd like a little bit more matte in my formula for summer. I've it a little bit more um, and I set it with the setting spray. It wouldn't, you know, break apart as much as it did. So I'm gonna try that as well. And. That is pretty much it, I think. Let me know what you guys think of this foundation if you tried it. Oh, I forgot to say also, the moisturizing primer, I had it on the side of my face. It's not a huge difference. I'd say maybe this side is a little bit more dewy. So, um, in the grand scheme of things, maybe not the best for my skin type. Uh, maybe I'll try it with the original one. Oh, I should have tried it with the original one on this side, but okay, you know whatever doing this apart the kind of texture and breaking a part of it is not different at all so really that's pretty much it guys let me know what other foundations you want me to try there's a few that i have that i really want to review which is um the new abh the zoeva one that's just around the corner also the juvia's place that i still have and haven't tested it and also the pure cosmetics one and really the pat mcgrath but that's a, a hell expensive so let me know if you want to see that because if you don't, there's no point in me splurging on that. Anyway, give this video a thumbs up. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel, click the little bell button, and don't you forget to... I don't know what I'm saying, I'm so tired. So, bye, see ya.